Today we learn about how to set up RCS Secure ID REST Authentication API. RSA Secure ID system consists of authenticator, authentication agent, and authentication manager. So authentication agent is a piece of software which is responsible for processing user authentication requests. So most of the equipment which support RSA Secure ID, they will will come with the authentication agent software. But in case if we want to add support for RSA Secure ID on a new equipment, then we can use RSA Secure ID REST authentication API in any programming languages. So in case if we have decided to use the REST API for implementing support for RSA Secure ID, then we need to set up REST API on Authentication Manager. So we will log in to Authentication Manager using the Security Console. And what we will do, we will first enable REST API by simply going to set up system setting and then enabling RSA Secure ID Authentication API. It will generate the access ID and access key, which is basically an API key. And the second important thing which we need to do is we need to add the host or the switch or router on which we will be implementing the authentication agent. It is the host which will be sending or processing the REST API requests. So we will go to the access tab, we will go to the authentication agent, and we will either add the IP address or the host name. So as far as RS Secure ID REST authentication API is concerned, it offers five different methods. Initialize method, it is evident, it is used to initialize or start the authentication process request, verify, sends the actual secure ID passcode consisting of pin number and the number displayed on the token. We can cancel the request. We can check the state of request. We can check the support for different languages by using the resource method. So let's have a quick demonstration of how this work. What we will do, we will combine, initialize and verify in one step. So the body of our request will contain client ID, which is host name or IP of host running the request IP. Subject name will contain the username. Method we are using is secure ID. And value will contain the user passcode. Method is post for the request API. And client ID is over API key, which was generated once we enabled the REST API on Authentication Manager. And message ID should be unique id so let's go and try it so method is post url is url of our authentication manager this is our client key so content type is application json so this is ip address of our authentication manager this is the username and we need to add the passcode so first thing is pin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I need to add the token. So I have to quickly look at my mobile phone and the value of token is eight, four, double zero, eight, nine, double zero. So I will change, make it unique, change the message ID and I will just send this request to the authentication manager. So message has been processed. So let's see what is the reply. Reply is success. So what happened is we sent or we combined both the thing. We combined initialization as well as verification in one step. And we sent the username and his passcode. And it was a success for us. Thank you.